I'm making venison, beef and broccoli basically. So I have some butter that's melted in there. I'm gonna throw about a pound and a half of venison in there. Should have put my onions in first, but oh well. It'll fit down. So I will cook this until it's mostly done, and then add my garlic, and then I'll show you my seasoning. Okay, my meat's partly cooked through. So I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. <clears throat> and I'll probably cook this another two minutes and then I'll add my sauce and my broccoli to it. Okay, now I'm going to add my broccoli. This will actually probably serve four people. We eat it for lunch and dinner. That's why there's so much. So, sprinkle some garlic powder on there. So this has two garlic cloves, half a cup of soy sauce, and a fourth of a cup of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So throw that in there. Let this cook about 10 minutes. Taste it. And then I will add some of my oyster sauce in there. Probably about two tablespoons after it's cooked a little while. Alright, see you in about ten minutes. Okay, it's only been about five minutes and it's actually starting to come together and looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and add my oyster sauce. This is optional, but I really like it. It doesn't taste fishy to me. So, uh, probably about two tablespoons there, but it adds really good flavor. If you haven't ever tried it, definitely try some oyster sauce. Well, I'll probably cook it about two, three more minutes and I will be done. Okay, this is the end, this is what it looks like, it's kind of a stick syrupy almost. Or you put some on my plate. Try it out. My one year old loves beef and well deer and broccoli. It's very good. It's probably one of my favorite ways to make uh use deer steak. Definitely try it. You won't regret it.